Karth Astro presents the Astrology of Kink, where I analyze your chart to see if it matches your kink profile. Today's kink profile is interesting and different. 100% sadist, we haven't had one of those yet. 100% brat tamer, 100% rigor, 100% daddy or mommy, 98% dominant, 94% owner, 79% master or mistress, 73% degrader, and what was, yeah, that was the last one I went, oh no, 65% age player. I thought that was interesting. Okay, the sadist, that's the very first thing that comes to mind when I look at this chart because Mars is in the ascendant and Mars is fighting, war, aggression, contention, fisticuffs, etc. Anything that has to do with creating injuries is Mars. And so the sadist, also anything that has to do with a lack of compassion, with cruelty, and a, or a lack of kindness or, cr is, or cruelty is Mars. Now, what's interesting to me about this Mars is that Mars is in Taurus in the Ascendant in the first house, which means that Venus is the ruler of the Ascendant. Venus is in Aries, which is ruled by Mars. And one of the most interesting things about this is that there's a 13th century astrology book where they specifically talk about when Mars is in the signs of Venus and Venus is in the signs of, signs of Mars at the same time, that person will be particularly licentious, particularly interested in sexual activity, and will more than likely engage in sex that is unconventional, right? So engage in sexual activity that is unconventional. And that could mean either sexual behavior that is unconventional, you know, so kinks and whatnot, but it could also mean uh, that they are more promiscuous, so that they don't settle down with others. So both of those things could be true. But what that says to us already in this chart is that mm, this chart is sexually oriented and focused. And when we look at the moon, right, the moon is what lives within us and all of our kind of internal feelings and, and thoughts. The moon is in Libra, which is also ruled by this Venus. So we know already that this is a very sexual chart. So this is an extremely sexual chart. So this Venus I call Amazon. And this moon in opposition to Venus, as I said, would create, um, which is happening here, this would create a, a, a taste towards, I don't want to say violent sexuality, but a taste towards more aggression, more aggression and cruelty in sexuality, right? So more, more aggression specifically, uh, not necessarily cruelty, but obviously we've got a sadist here, so you know, why not cruelty? But it would be attracted to, so instead of the soft and good smelling and sweet loving things that Venus is usually identified with, she's in the opposite of her own sign. Libra is the sign she rules, and Taurus, she rules Taurus and Libra. So she's in the opposite signs to which she rules, so she's going to be acting more like Mars, because Mars rules the signs opposite to her. And so Mars, as we've already talked about, he's war, he's aggression, he's fighting. So this Venus, so this sexual nature, because Venus is the universal ruler of love and sex, so this sexual nature is even going to be a little bit more geared towards dominance and uh, aggression. Dominance and aggression. Now, as far as the daddy and the dominant, um, and as far as, uh, what was the other thing, the rigor, the daddy, the dominant, the owner, the master. Okay, those things I see in the Sun Saturn sextile. So the Sun is at 8 degrees of Aries, Saturn is at 10 degrees of Gemini. Um, the Sun is applying to that sextile, and both the Sun and Saturn are universal significators for the Father. Sun signifies Father by day, Saturn by night. And so here we have the two of them together. That sun is highly dignified in Aries, even though it's in the 12th house, it's very highly dignified. And Saturn, as a result, what I think ends up happening is there's this sense of authority that is uh, adopted and that comes out through lots of dirty, degrading talk, right? Because Gemini is ruled by uh, Mercury, who rules the tongue and the hands. And so there we have Saturn, especially so that when this person goes into their ownership master role, out would come this patter of dark, degrading, filthy, delightful talk, um, you know, sexy talk. And so that's where I think that comes from. And I think that's also where the age play thing comes from, too. I think these two 
father's significator, Sun and Saturn together, I think those two things also create um, the interest in the age play as well. Thank you very much for joining. I need more charts, so if you're listening and you're interested in being uh, what's being featured here on Astrology of Kink, please DM me and let me know. Thanks so much.